Hello and welcome. Today we're going to be making a Ethan Allen Ottoman hack. So if you'd like to save around $560 and get storage, try this Ottoman hack. For the structure of our Ottoman, we'll be using a milk crate and then we'll line the outside with some strips of manila tag to make it nice and smooth. So to cover the four sides, you'll need uh, four 11 by 13 sheets and one 13 by 13 to cover the bottom. We appreciate your support. Please hit subscribe and like. For the top of our ottoman, we used a 13 by 13 piece of wood and we're gluing a piece of foam core that's about 10 and a half by 10 and a half on top of that. And the interior foam core is to make sure that the top doesn't slide around. And for this project, we didn't spend anything except on the little feet because it's all leftover materials from other projects. And our leftover materials would cost about $10 for the whole project. So for the top, we used a couple of scrap pieces and glued them together and made a nice crease and that'll make the top of our ottoman. And once uh, they're glued together, we'll just trim off the excess so we don't get a big lump. Then we'll just iron out all the creases so we get a nice smooth finish. We're all ironed out nice and smooth. We'll put our cotton batten on top. And for the filling, we just used an old pillow that we weren't using. There, that looks all nice and plump and cushy. Now we'll put our top on there and arrange it all, trim off some of the excess, and then we'll put it all together. This is a really easy project. I'm really surprised how well it turned out and it saves you a ton of money. Then just put a good stream of glue across one side, tuck in the batten and bring the canvas over the top. Then once that side is done, go to the opposite side, pull it tight, put the glue on there and put the other side on top. And it's always best to start gluing from the middle first and working your way out. Then when you're doing the other side, make sure you get a nice little corner, finish that off pretty and put some glue inside and connect that down. Then just trim off the excess and put a little bit of glue down there to finish it up nice. Then before we finish the other side, we're gonna plump this baby up with some cotton batten that I didn't use yet. So we'll get it nice and full and comfortable. Just like a good turkey, you can't have too much stuffing. Then on that side there, put a strip of glue in the middle first, tuck in the stuffing and make sure that piece is connected firmly before moving on to the rest. And the reason for that is because the stuffing can be a little unmanageable and if you can't stuff it and glue it down then the cotton batten will not help with gluing it all together. Once that's in place just trim off the edges again, glue them down and ta-da! There we go. Beautiful plush little cushion top. There we go, looks great, fits perfect, nice and soft and cushy. Now we'll move on to make our 11 by 13 side pieces. Just put your glue down and attach your cardboard. Then just repeat the process until all your sides are done. And if there are any little gaps or spaces, you don't have to worry about that because we'll be wrapping it in our linen. Then to start wrapping the box, we'll start at one end Put about an inch up or so and glue that to the box. Then we'll do the other side. Just glue it down, make sure the corner is nice, flip the box over and keep going up your little strip of canvas. Then when you get to the end, you'll make a nice glued seam and flip that over top to finish the sides. And this is the canvas drop cloth we used for the other project and finished off with this project. And from that one package, you had just enough to complete the two projects. Then to finish off the inside, just fold all the excess in, do a couple little origami folds, and ta-da, you have a beautiful interior. Just add some glue in the middle to hold it all in place, and the interior is good. The only thing we actually spent money on for this project, specifically, were these little legs, mini plastic containers. And we got those at the Dollar Tree for $1.25. And, but you can use anything around the house that's sort of the same size and won't mark up your floors. Here's my assistant Harry wondering why your 
not going to be doing this to save yourself $560. Thanks for crafting with me today and I hope you really give this a try. It's a good money saver and it's really quite easy. See you next time.